Okay, we have here today another integral from the MIT integration B 2024. This was problem eight. We have the integral from minus one to one of five x cubed minus three x all squared dx. Okay, I just noticed this one the other day, but this is actually the only problem from the qualifying round that I skipped. And I don't remember why, but I think the reason I skipped it is I wasn't really seeing the purpose. It looks like it's just kind of power rule. I wasn't really seeing any like interesting tricks or anything really difficult about this one, but let me know in the comments if you see something that I don't see in this one, but it seems like a pretty routine problem. Okay, now to get started with this, there is kind of one shortcut that I see here. It's just a very small shortcut, a very minor shortcut, but we do have, we've got symmetric bounds here around zero, and we also have an even function here. Now, the reason why this is an even function, it's not just because we have it squared, that's not enough, but also the fact that we have an odd function inside the square. Let's just check this real quick. The definition for an even function, the definition for an even function is if we check f minus x, we should just get back f of x. And let's just do this check really quick just to show that this is an even function. So what, so what I can do here for f of minus x, just plug in a minus x everywhere. So what's gonna happen, when we plug in minus x into x cubed, that's gonna be x cubed will have like a minus that comes out in front. And then here in the minus three x, you plug a minus x in here, this is gonna become plus three x all squared. But then what I can do is factor a minus out of this. So I can write this as minus five x cubed minus three x all squared. But when you do that, this minus is just gonna go away and become a plus and we get back five x cubed minus three x all squared. And this is actually the same as this. This is our f of x. And so doing this, we show that this is an even function. So we can use the principle of even functions. Now what we have for that is when we have an integral with symmetric bounds, like we have here, we're going from minus a to a, and we have our f of x is even. Then what that allows us to do is we can rewrite the integral, bring a two out front, change the lower bound to zero. So we'll be going from zero to a of f of x dx. And so what we can do is just clean this up and we can rewrite our integral using this trick right here. But now, like I said before, this is a really minor trick, because look what we did. We've All we did is we fixed our bound, but we haven't done anything to address the integral yet. We haven't done anything to simplify this. But now for this thing, I've got no great idea. What I'm gonna do is just multiply it out, just expand it out so I can use power rule on this. So doing that first, squaring the first term, we get 25 x to the sixth. The middle terms are gonna be minus 15 x to the fourth. We do it twice, so we end up with minus 30 x to the fourth. Squaring the last term, we're gonna get plus nine x squared dx. And then from here, we'll just go ahead and use power rule in this thing. So what we're gonna do is we'll have our two up front. This is gonna become 25 x to the seven over seven. Here, this is gonna become minus 30 x to the fifth over five. And then here, this is gonna become nine x cubed over three. And this whole thing is gonna be evaluated just from zero to one. Of course, I can reduce a few things. Nine over three, I can write as three. And 30 over five, I can write as a six. And now all we need to do is just evaluate this thing to finish it off. But if you evaluate it at zero, you can see everything is gonna be zero. So we're not gonna worry about the zero part. And when you evaluate at one, like one cubed, one to the fifth, one to the seventh, those are all one. So I'm just gonna kind of cross those off. So to simplify this, I'm gonna have this two up front. We're gonna have this 25 over seven. Here we're gonna have three minus six, which is minus three. In order to get a common denominator, I can write this as minus 21 over seven. Putting this together, this is gonna become four over seven. Multiplying two times four over seven, we get our final solution of this of just eight over seven. Okay, so there you have it. Kind of a boring integral, just power rule, nothing too fancy. So that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.